What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Montana State Bobcat Dynasty on NCAA 06 for our final game of the series. And you'll never guess it. It is the MPC Computers Bowl once again. We did win the Big Sky Conference. We had a great season for the most part. We did have a couple disappointing losses, which held us out of what our ultimate goal was being national champions. But at the very least, I would like to end off the series on a great bowl victory here against Eastern Michigan. Now, the Eagles had a good season looking at their stats, though, solid quarterback play. They had a thousand yard rusher, 900 yards for more, their leading receiver. I mean, they're no joke. I mean, there, there's a reason this team isn't a bowl game. Granted, it is only at a six and five record. Four interceptions there for Derek Bridges, but Montana State definitely favored two of our victories. Two of our first wins of the season are against the teams that are now like on top, like ranked one and two. Texas A&M is ranked number one, and we beat them by 14 back in week two. Too. So I think we got a good shot here in this one, especially after the way we treated the Grizzlies a week ago. The Eagles will start off with the football. Austin stepping up into the pocket, launching that one downfield, and he's got his man there inside of the 10, and that's going to get them down to about the 8-yard line, setting up goal to go now for Eastern Michigan. Austin throwing this one into the flat, and that's going to be incomplete. Now off of the play fake, Derek Austin's is going to be pressured. That's going to force the incomplete pass. That makes it third down and goal. Handoff goes to the back, and he's going to get taken down in the backfield by Barnes. They're going to settle for three points. Now here's a high snap for McPherson, throwing into some traffic as he was pressured on the play. Incomplete pass. Now Carter going right up the middle, falling forward and picking up a gain of six. Faced with an early third down, Montana State throwing over the middle there. Great touch pass by McPherson, getting it out to Turner and keeping this drive alive. McPherson dropping back to throw again. Pressured, he evades it now, throwing off his back foot. Picked off by Johnson. On the return, he's going to get out to midfield in the Bobcat territory. And now looking like he's a little shaken up after the play, but still a big time opportunity here for Eastern Michigan. Cleveland on the carry. The impact running back takes it right up the middle there, getting them down inside of the 30. Now a direct snap to him, and he's going to be limited to just three yards. Second down. It's going to be another direct snap, this time the opposite side of the field, and we hold them to even less yards this time, just a pickup of two. An update on Dominique Johnson there. He's going to be out for the remainder of the game, but he did make a big play there for the Eagles. Up the middle goes Cleveland, and I don't think he got it. They're going to rule him a yard shy. Barnes once again on the stop. That's going to force an Eastern Michigan field goal, which is up and good. Here's Montana State now down 6-0 in the first pass. is going to be caught by Will Black over the middle, up top and making the catch. Last play of the quarter, we're going to give it to Ryan Carter. Our impact running back goes right up the gut for a pickup of seven. Now McPherson on the option. We don't see this often with him. He's not very much of a mobile quarterback. He's going to keep it himself, though, and get into Eagles territory. Now off of the play fake, and he's lucky he didn't have that pass picked off as he was immediately pressured. On third down, McPherson going to throw back across his body here for Ryan Carter, and he's going to be forced out of bounds a couple yards shy of the first down marker. The offense remains on the field, though. Fourth down over the middle. Turner with another great catch across the middle. This one to keep the drive alive once again. McPherson stepping up into the pocket, and he did not sense the pressure coming whatsoever there, getting walloped for a loss of nine. Now on second down and 19, McPherson takes the snap, firing that one over the middle for Will Black down to the 10-yard line. Three consecutive completions now for the Bobcat quarterback. Looking to make it four, and it won't quite be broken up there at the last second in and out of the hands of Will Black. Second down and 10, McPherson stepping up into the pocket, and that pass is going to be knocked away once again, intended for Black. Now on third down, McPherson's got time in the pocket, throwing that one to the right side, looking Will Black's way yet again, and once again off of his hands. We're going to have to settle now for a Gabriel Fields field goal, and he puts us on the board. Here is Eastern Michigan now, pass off the back, but it's going to be tipped up into the air and cut by Moore, getting lucky on that play, getting out to the 40-yard line. Now Derek Austin's going to get taken down for the sack. Great play there by this Bobcat pass rush. 
Austin's going to step up into the pocket as he has time, and he's got Stevens across the 35-yard line, down officially at the 32. Great job there, standing in the pocket by Austin, but now he's going to get wrecked, losing the football. Barnes forcing the fumble and recovering it. He has been having a heck of a game so far. Definitely been the defensive MVP of this team. Now it's Hospital to the right for Nathan Cronin. Cronin's across the 50-yard line. Some key blocking downfield down the right sideline. He is gone. Touchdown, Montana State. And with that, we're going to be taking our first lead of the game. It looks like Montana State is starting to finally come to form into this one. Handoff goes to Travis Cleveland, and he's going to be held to about four yards there as they burn their first time out. Off of the play fake, Austin's going to launch that one to the right side, and he caught that in bounds. That looked like that pass was going to sail out of bounds, but his receiver making a great play there. Now a big drop here. He's going to get it out to more, and that's going to be a pickup of four yards. Austin looking to put together this two-minute drill. To the left side, he's got his man there yet again. Garner is just making catch after catch. He's just mossing our entire defense right now, it feels like. That's a dangerous pass that could have gone Montana State's way. Anderson throwing that one off his back foot, or Austin actually throwing that one off his back foot. Now Cleveland on the carry. He gets held to the line of scrimmage. Fourth and seven. They're going for it. Austin under some pressure. That forces the incomplete pass. Montana State's defense standing up there. And with 26 seconds left to go, we're not done with the half of football. McPherson looking to throw, launching that one downfield. And that's going to be another drop by Will Black. That one might be the worst of them. McPherson looking deep. Now this time for Marcus Lumpkin, the impact receiver. Unable to bring that one down. Third down and 10. Do we go deep yet again? Yes, we do. Is third try going to be the charm? Yes, it is. Marcus Lumpkin down at the 15-yard line. And Montana State's going to use their first timeout with eight seconds left on the clock. Going over the middle there. That pass is going to be incomplete. Five seconds left. And we're not going to risk it. Bring out Gabriel Fields for his second attempt of the day. Kick is up and good. That's going to give us the seven-point lead now at halftime. We're going to be getting the football to start off the second half of play now. Eastern Michigan is going to be kicking this one off from about his own four-yard line. It's Marcus Lumpkin now on the return, taking this one to the left side. Got some open space there and finally pushed out of bounds near midfield. Great way to open up the second half of play. Now off of the play fake, and that is a little bit less ideal. McPherson immediately sacked there, almost no time to throw as Little gets his third sack of the season. McPherson under some immediate pressure. Pass is going to be caught by Black, though. Still able to get it out to his man, setting up third down and 12. McPherson stepping up into the pocket over the middle, and it's going to be broken up there. So a great kick return results in nothing for the offense. Handoff goes to Cleveland. Actually, it's going to be a direct snap his way. He's into open space across midfield. Good luck catching him. He is gone, and we're going to be all tied up after the extra point. An 80-yard run there by Travis Cleveland, and we still got ourselves a ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Cronin going right up the middle. He's going to pick up a couple of yards. Now on an early third down, McPherson's going to be flushed to his left, looking to keep it himself. Pushed out of bounds, shy of the sticks, though. The offense remains on the field. McPherson over the middle. Another clutch fourth down throw there to Turner. He's just been great on third and fourth down so far today. Handoff goes to Ryan Carter. Montana State's ground game has been mostly shut down for a lot of this game outside of the long touchdown run that we had. Now we could have had a touchdown pass right there, but McPherson missed him. Oh my gosh, he is Kim, he's just so infuriating to play with sometimes. Just the inaccuracy there. There he does throw an accurate pass to Carter. He gets hit as he makes the catch, though. Can't hang on the ball. Fourth down and a six here on the 41-yard line, and we're going for it. McPherson to Turner once again on fourth down. I mean, we just got to get to fourth down on, you know, every set of first down there, and then just throw it to Turner because he has been incredible, especially on fourth down today. That is the fourth one or the third one he's converted. McPherson now on the move. He's going to throw that one there for Will Black down just shy of the 10-yard line, it looks like. 
And they're going to mark him right at the 10-yard line. So McPherson looking to throw and another pass that is just off the mark, man. I, I don't know how much longer I can do this with him. I know he's only a freshman, but man, it is infuriating sometimes. And that is also infuriating. No, McPherson stripped of the football. He's rolling to his left, looking to throw across his body. I mean, he's a right-handed quarterback. He, they catch up to him there, pull out the football, and they got the recovery. Now Cleveland's in open space yet again. We just gave up an 80-yard rushing touchdown to him, and he's going to do it to us yet again. Oh, my gosh, defense. Are you kidding me? 83 yards this time? Can we please stop this man? Eastern Michigan recaptures the lead. Now on the kick return, Lumpkin from about the one yard line, he's going to return. He's looking for another big return. Instead, he's stripped of the football. No, scooped up by Alfred of the Eagles. And now they have some superb field position. This pass is going to be off his back foot and incomplete. Come on, defense. you got to stand up here. Cleveland on the carry. Shut down on the play there by Darren Perry. Third down in line. Austin's looking to throw. Pressured. Gets it out to West, but shy of the sticks. So this is going to force a field goal attempt, it looks like, by Eastern Michigan. Fourth down and one to start off the fourth quarter. This kick is going to be up and good, putting us down by 10. Now Matt Henshaw enters the game for Montana State. We see a change at quarterback here. He launches it downfield, picked off by Prater on the return. Now he's going to get out across the 40-yard line and maybe some desperation here from Montana State. We know there was some uh, frustration with McPherson, but putting Henshaw in the game, I'm not sure if he's going to win it for you uh, either, really, unless you are hoping he has the hot hand or something. And now the defense, once again, unable to stop Travis Cleveland until he picks up a big play. There we do take him down at the line of scrimmage. Or actually, it's going to be a loss of two. Now off of the play fake. Nice play there by Nick Fogle breaking up that pass. Third down and long here for the Eagles. Austin looking to throw. Launching this one to the end zone. Going for it all. And he just missed him on the play. That's going to force a punt. Henshaw is still in there for Montana State. His pass is going to be caught by the tight end. Hansen over the middle, and it's going to pick up a good chunk of yardage. we got to score two times, though, before the end of the game, and there's just over three minutes left to play as Henshaw just stands in there and takes the sack there. That's four times they've gotten to our quarterbacks today. Henshaw looking to throw. He's got time moving to his left. He's going to stop and float that one up for his running back, Ryan Carter. He's going to get stopped just shy of the sticks. They're a couple yards shy. Third down and three now. Pass to the right side. Black can't hang on to it. Fourth down. Do we look Turner's way yet again? No, Henshaw trying to spin. He does look Turner's way on the play, but that's not going to get there with the pressure right up in his face. Him also like McPherson, a right-handed quarterback rolling to his left for reasons unknown to me. Fullback dive up the middle there, picking up nine yards. Now give it to Cleveland. He picks up the first down, and he gets brought down by the face mask, and this clock just keeps on ticking. Down to the 29-yard line. Fullback dive, and it's going to be just a one-yard gain. The Bobcats start using their timeouts. Handoff goes to Cleveland. Now he's going to pick up the first down as he gets out of the tackle there. Down at the 16-yard line as they're cooking inside of the red zone. Handoff goes to Cleveland, working his way up the middle. And that's going to be a pickup of five as this clock continues to run. And things are looking much more bleak for Montana State. Timeout used right there. It's going to be third down and eight. Full back dive. We have been unable to stop the run for a majority of this game, it feels like. There, we're able to bring him down shy of the stakes. They attempt another field goal attempt, which is up and good. They're up by 13 now with under a minute left to play. McPherson re-enters the game now at quarterback, launching that one deep, and it's going to be incomplete. Just some Hail Marys here. We need a couple Hail Marys along with an onside kick in between those. If we want any kind of a shot, we're right now at our own 29-yard line. McPherson to the left side, and it's going to be caught by Lumpkin. Great throw there in between the defenders down at the 37-yard line. 
McPherson looking to throw again. Testing the left side again and picked off by Smith. The nail in the coffin as if the game wasn't already decided. A nice return out to the 27-yard line. And with seven seconds left to go, Eastern Michigan is going to be pulling off the upset against number, I think we're 21 or 22 ranked Montana State, number 21. Not after this game, though, as it's just a very disappointing way to end the season and to end the series. Uh, McPherson, I mean, he had his struggles all year long, and I got frustrated in this game. I probably shouldn't have benched him because Henshaw is not really better than him, but I was like, you know, maybe Henshaw's got something, comes out, immediately throws an interception. I know some of this stuff is just bad reads on my part and being unable to read the defense, but there's a couple throws like that touchdown that we could have had to Murphy. I saw him wide open. I threw it to him, and, and McPherson just missed him by like five yards, and he's got a yard or two of separation. Those are throws you can't miss. I know he's a freshman, but still, it is frustrating when you see this kind of team. We went on that run at the beginning of the season. We were 2-0 and against the top two teams in the nation, and then we, and then we can't beat Eastern Michigan. I don't know. It's been so hot and cold not just this season but this entire series Montana also had a bowl game this week they would end up losing as would Sacramento State to Georgia 52 to 24 that's gonna be it for today's video we still got the championship game to look forward to so one final video in the series so if you're excited for that let me know down in the comment section below if you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and until next time this has been Jeffrey reminding you to stay moist